Now at five, a teenager charged in the deadly shooting outside Des Moines East High School is going to prison for 20 years. He's the first of 10 suspects to be sentenced. The families of the three victims changed forever on March 7th of 2022. 15 year old Jose Lopez was killed. Kemri Ortega and Jessica Lopez, both East High students were seriously hurt. They did survive. We heard from Jessica Lopez for the first time tonight. I feel like they should not be let free anytime soon. It's not fair to us. I almost died as well. KCTI Scott Carpenter was in the courtroom today when Kevin Martinez faced the three families. Scott? Yes, yeah, Steve, Kevin Martinez was behind the wheel of one of the cars involved in the drive-by shooting. The defense made their case for probation, while the prosecution pushed for the maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Today, we heard from Martinez for the first time since that barrage of gunfire. I know there's nothing I can do for his family to look at me different. But I want to apologize to his family and friends for what I caused that day. Now the defense played home security footage of the shooting. We've stopped this video right here before the shots were fired. Seconds after that moment, Jose Lopez was killed and two others were seriously hurt. The defense argued that Martinez had a rough childhood, including a difficult birth that came with health problems, elevated levels of lead in his blood, causing emotional and intellectual problems as well. The defense also argued the outcome of the shooting would have been the same with or without Martinez. Meanwhile, the prosecution said Martinez should serve 20 years in prison. Judge Rosenberg pointed out that this shooting happened in the middle of the day outside a school with innocent bystanders all around. He called the shooting planned, premeditated, and terroristic in nature. Jose Lopez's mother spoke in court. She directed her statements right at Martinez. I just want you to know that everybody else gets to go home knowing their kids are safe, whether it's behind bars or right next to them. I don't get that. <sighs> it's hard. But you know what the lesson here is and what it takes for you to learn that lesson. It shouldn't be a slap on the hand. Now, Martinez will serve 10 years consecutively for both counts of intimidation with a dangerous weapon for a total of 20 years behind bars. He